first I need to introduce uh, Josh Coates. So I've known Josh for a lot of years. Josh helped me a lot with some advice through some DOBA periods. Um, I, uh, I consider Josh to be somebody that will, wanna, uh, he, he will tell you what he thinks. Um, possibly, you know, I mean, you might not like it, but that's what you're gonna get. And so um, I'm really excited that he was able to come and do the AMP session and, and talk to us about some of his experiences. Uh, for those of you that don't know, he founded Mosey. I, this, this event is always moving targets. Mosey was gonna be last month and then Devin couldn't come and so they came here and, you know, um, the instructor guys we've been talking to for a year about coming and presenting. And, you know, Josh is helping them as an advisor and he's doing the AMP session and he founded Mosey. So it could just be called launch up, you know, the Josh Coates edition kind of thing. But, but it, it's rightfully so because Josh um, started Mosey uh, Berkeley Data Systems and sold the company a couple years ago to EMC for close to $80 million. And so he definitely knows what he's talking about, about startups, about technology startups, which is what our focus is. So Josh, come up and help us share your wisdom. Thanks, Jeremy. Sibilance, is this, can you hear me? And, we're, and this is being recorded, right? So you will get the censored version of the Josh Coates 10-minute AMP session. Uh, not, not that I'm a potty mouth or anything, it's just that, uh, no way, yeah, no, a lot of stuff I just don't want on record. So I can speak more freely, but so this is gonna, I'm gonna be a little restricted. Uh, because I don't wanna hurt people's feelings forever on, on the internet, just, just for the moment. Um, what's that? Pull. Oh, okay, I, yeah, I could do that. All right, we'll see how that goes. Okay. So look, I only have 10 minutes. I'm supposed to amp everyone up. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. Um, so what I'm going to do instead is uh, I'm just going to share a little bit um, of my advice that I offer. I, I came, I've been in the software industry for about 12 years now. I came out of Berkeley doing large-scale parallel systems, did my first startup in 1999 when everyone was doing a startup. and raised a lot of venture capital and, and grew big and did, did that for about four years and then shut it down, sold the intellectual property for very little money to Intel. And then uh, about a year or so later, I moved out here and then did Mosey and, and that worked out really well. So that's just the short version of my background. Um, but I talked to a lot of startup people you know, uh, they say, hey Josh, I'm doing something and this is what I'm doing and then they, I say, sure, come talk to me and I talk to them and, uh, and then six months later they come back and they didn't follow any of my advice and they say, yeah, you were right, I screwed everything up, now what do I do? And, and it's really, really uh, painful. And so uh, I, I bring all the way back, I go all the way back to kind of the very beginning. Uh, the most simple advice I can give people is, uh, is just this, I'll draw on the board here. And it's the same advice I give lots of people. Some of you, have, I'm sure, have seen me talk about this. This is uh, x, f of x, and y. And this is, I think, one of the fundamental problems that people have when they do a startup is they don't understand this. And what this is, uh, it's simply x is you, OK? That is you and your experience and your knowledge and your skills, OK? Uh, why is what you want, okay? Maybe you want $7 million in your checking account. Uh, maybe you desperately want your father to be proud of you. Uh, maybe you want the girl to marry you. Maybe, I, I don't know what your issues are or why you want to do a startup, but presumably, uh, you're doing it for something and that's why. So you need to figure out why you're doing it. Now f of x, of course, is your startup, right? Or maybe you find out what your x is and what your y is and it turns out that the startup's the wrong f of x to accomplish that. Okay, and that's okay too. Maybe it's a simple lifestyle business. Maybe it's going to Nepal and becoming a Buddhist monk. I, I don't know. You have to figure that out. But I think one of the biggest mistakes people make is uh, they don't figure Y out and they lie to themselves about X. And, and then they look uh, at uh, Guy Kawasaki, right? 
born on third base, thinks he hit a triple. Okay, and, and so they, darn it, I forgot I'm online. I'm sorry, guy, but you've never done a startup and you made all your money off Apple stock. Okay, anyway, uh, I'm sure you're a good guy though, really. I just, you're just a VC. Okay, so look, the, uh, the f of x here is, is what you need to, to find out once you've figured out your x. But the problem is, is so many people, uh, look, okay, how many, raise your hand if you're a coder. Okay, raise your hand if you're not a coder. Okay, you people that aren't coders are going to have a really hard time. Okay, because um, in my experience doing startups, if you're not technical, if you haven't paid the price to learn the technology, it's really hard to come up with an f of x, you know, because guess what? This function is applied on you, no one else, right? And that's how you get your y. And all you guys that aren't coders are, have a serious disadvantage. If you're young enough, go to school, okay? If you don't feel like you're young enough, then you've got to find a friend that can code and that you can work with because that's the toughest thing to do is if, you, if you're a business guy or an idea guy, you're a dime a dozen and mostly useless, okay? I just, that's the fact, okay? If you look at all the great tech startups out there, very few of them have been started by those people, right? Usually they come on later and we have names for those kinds of people Okay, and they're not nice. Uh, but sometimes they can be useful, right? Business people aren't all bad, right? They can be really useful and contribute and do great things. That's the uncommon case, all right? So maybe you're different, probably not.